All right, so were there any roadblocks or struggles that you were having before you got inside the community? Yes, definitely. Um, so, you know, that's really how I got started about a year ago. Um, when I decided I want to learn how to make money online and not go back to work for anybody else, mm -hmm. I did my own research and I found things on YouTube, which were, was, a lot of it was very good information, but some of it was wrong, not good information for me. So I took that information and I learned how to do drop shipping. I taught it to myself and I figured it all out, but I couldn't figure out how to actually get the money to come in. And that was a problem. So in between, I hired a company that did my website and I was paying them also a thousand dollars a month for about eight months mm -hmm. to run my um, marketing, do all my marketing and do all my Google ads and I paid them too. That cost me almost $10,000 and I didn't make money. Wow. So I knew that I had to make a change and that was my biggest hurdle was now how do I get my store out there. So when I originally started, I wanted to get my store promoted. So when I saw this, it was a no brainer for me because I was like, okay, this might help me to get my store out there. Well, guess what? I'm going to close my store now because <laughs> I don't need it now because I realized it's more of a headache than anything else. And I didn't know about this. And now I've learned a whole new way to learn how to make money online. Yeah. And 100% profit's really nice. It makes a whole big difference. I mean, it's 100% profit in the drop shipping model, but not when you have to spend a lot of money. Right. And then it's not pure profit. Right mm -hmm. now, um, it's pure profit. Mm -hmm. And that's a big difference. Yeah. So now that you're in the community, what has happened that you didn't expect to happen being inside the community? Oh my gosh, so much stuff has happened. So first of all, as being part of the community, I never realized how awesome that was because I didn't really need it from like talking to people and socializing or anything like that mm -hmm. because I have a pretty busy life, but I did need it to learn from people. Mm -hmm. So I was able to really, if I have a question and I wanted to know the answer, I could just put it right into the community. And it's amazing how many people really want to jump in and help you. So that was amazing. But now I take it a step further to where we are now and seeing that there was a cruise planned and jumping on it has been a completely eye-opening experience to me because now I'm really, really enjoying my community even more because I've met such amazing people mm -hmm. and I really have been learning from such selfless people that just want to teach everything and that has been truly amazing to me. Mm, so good. I love that. So what made you take your leap into entrepreneurship? So I worked 40 years in corporate America, nine to five, answering for the people, making them all rich and watching them all drive around in their nice cars and their boats and all of that stuff thinking one day, one day I want that, you know, mm -hmm. but you can't get there working that nine to five. And I knew that I always knew that, but I wasn't ready to make that leap out because Hey, I needed the money. Right? Mm -hmm. So when my company that I was working for, for the last eight years, um, sold, I decided that I didn't want to work for the new owner because I didn't know them from anything. I don't know how they're going to handle things. And I, it's my reputation. I will not promote anything unless I'm 150% sure of it because it's my reputation and I'm not going to ruin it. Mm -hmm. So I um, decided at that moment that it was time. He took nine weeks to reach out to me. And in that time, I decided to build my dropshipping store. And that's how I got out of it. Because when he finally did meet with me, I said, well, he took nine weeks. And in that nine weeks, I created a business for myself. And now I'm enjoying it. And I don't want to go to work for anybody else. And that's how Ooh, I got out of it. So it was really awesome. And now I knew that I just needed the time freedom. And I just, I'm 58 years old. I've done that for so many years. And I don't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm over it. Love it. And I can't do it anymore now. I will never be able to go back and work for somebody else now. I'm really spoiled. Yeah. This life is really <laughs> awesome. It is, it is. So how do you see your online business not only impacting your life, but your family's life? Oh, wow. So just the fact that I am available for them all the time and I don't have to go into an office. You know, my daughter's older now. So, but when she was younger, that PTO is is a pain in the butt, you know, because you have to work around them. And if you don't have any PTO, you can't take off on your child is sick. And we all know how that goes. Your child gets sick and then they go back to school and you get sick. So you need that PTO. And mm -hmm. I don't ever have to worry about that anymore because mm -hmm. I am the CEO of my PTO. <laughs> and I heard that today. I saw that somewhere and I was like, I love that. I am the CEO of my own PTO and I love it. Love that. Yes. So what has been your favorite part of being inside the community so far? Meeting you. 
and Aww. meeting everybody else and seeing really honestly seeing how genuine you are and spending seven days with you getting to know you as a person knowing that I now because you say it on I say it all the time people do business with who they know like and trust so I knew you I liked you I trusted you but I didn't know you to that extent that I do now. Mm -hmm. So now I have a whole new respect for everything. It changed everything for me. And like I said, the people in the community and how they've been helping me has been, oh my gosh, just sitting down on this cruise and being able to even learn how to do simple little things that I didn't know how to do has been a game changer for me. Mm, and that to me, seeing how selfless everybody is, is really amazing. Wow. That is so good. So has your mindset or confidence changed since you've been inside the community? So for me, I've always had a good mindset and I've always had good confidence. However, I never did TikTok before and I wasn't making videos, so my confidence was not there. So for once in my life, I was doing something that I was actually not sure about. So I kept watching and watching and learning and learning and I'm always a sponge. So I'm always, listen, the trick is I dove into everything that you taught us and that really made a difference for me. So I, I truly believe that brought up my confidence level and got me to where I am right now. But now, like especially watching my videos have evolved so much from day one to day, I think I'm in my fourth month right now or going into it and seeing the difference that builds my confidence because I know when I get that aha, okay, this one was really good. I nailed it. It's such a good feeling because a month, three months ago, I didn't even know what I was doing. So it's a really good feeling to be there. And I definitely have a lot more confidence now in what I'm doing. And I'm really, really excited for the future. It's super exciting. I love what you just said because so many people are like, I'm a confident person. So why do I struggle creating videos? And it's because that's something new. And I love what you said. That's what you've been able to really grow. And now, now they're fun, right? There's so much fun. And I always yeah. struggled with, because I'm a talker. And <laughs> I can give so much information. I also am an explainer. So I feel like I have to explain everything that I say. But you know what? You don't. I learned that. You don't. You just have to get to the point. And I've gotten better at that. So this has really helped me to hone in on that and really tweak everything down. So mm -hmm. it's been really, really eye-opening in a lot of ways. So good. So what, what piece of advice would you give to somebody that wants to launch into the digital space and have their own online business? Do it and start because you can't get there if you don't start, mm -hmm. but just do it. Like do it scared. I don't care if you're scared. We all were scared. Just do it and do it scared because you are never going to know what it's going to do for you until you do it. Mm -hmm. Listening to the stories of people on the cruise this last week and hearing stories of being homeless to buying a home like blows my mind like really blows my mind and if you don't think you can do it then get out of your own way because you can do it if i can do it and everybody else can do it you can do it too it's just you need to put yourself in it and you need to learn it and if you're willing to do that and be coachable it's it's beautiful it's an amazing thing and this lifestyle is something like no other so good. So if you could just leap to three years from now, how do you see your life? Oh, amazing. Even more amazing than it is right now. In three years from now, I see myself really having a lot of people that I've touched and a lot of people that I've helped and a lot of people whose lives I've changed. And that is the best thing to me because I really love to help change other people's trajectory of their life. I really think people are stuck. And if they can't figure out how to get out of it, they stay stuck. Mm -hmm. So, but you don't ever need to stay stuck. You just need to learn something new. And that's the beautiful thing because learning is a gift, but you have to take it and you have to run with it. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, you can change your life. Yeah. And I really well, I'm think- I'm grateful that, to be on this journey with you. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. I'm super stoked. Um, I think the next three years are gonna just be bigger and better. And that's really where I'm going. In the next three years, I know I will be a seven figure earner. And yes. I feel yes. it, I see it, I know it. And um, yeah, my life is gonna change dramatically when I get there yep. in even better ways. So all good things are coming.